Hello everyone! So, uh, this is a follow-up video to the height map based uh, normal maps and uh, flow map. And in this particular case, I wanted to show you a full-on example with an actual mountain instead of the uh, example texture that I provided. Um, I'm not doing a full-on sort of lava thing. Uh, I'm using instead a quick texture right here, which is a grid pattern that is easy to recognize and see the actual flow of so that we're not making any mistake to see that it's, you know, it's doing what it's supposed to. And um, I wanted to provide you with a couple of uh, little tips to make the process a little bit smoother. So in this example, I'm only using a 1K um, just because I wanted to put together the, the, the test fairly quickly and uh, show you how, how it works um, in a fast manner. So uh, what I have here is a simple default mountain from Gaia. Um, I produced a flow map to um, sort of control the direction of the flow, which I'm doing an auto level with a logarithmic adjustment. So I get the full range. This is because once I take it into um, Unreal, I can use power and multiply to control how much of that flow line I want, but I have the full value. So instead of just a partial range, this may be all I end up using, but I can get that from this. Um, the other thing is the height map, um, which you use to create your mountain. It's certainly one thing, but uh, you want to make sure that you get the absolute full range uh, if you're going to be using it for the UVs. So even if you want to get, you know, um, it's very precise with your height and all that kind of business uh, here, once you use it for your V direction in your UVs, uh, you want this. Uh, so this can be left kind of as is. There's no other details that need to be changed. However, for the, uh, the wraparound uh, U direction, right? So the V direction is height, the U direction is around. Uh, we're using a blur a relatively small amount and uh, we're doing the normal map off of that so we're pre-calculating the normal map that way we don't have to do it inside of Unreal. Um, this is something that I mentioned in the comments and also um, in my, my posts in the quad spinner uh, group so uh, this will save you some additional calculations and you'll get an overall better result. Uh, taking it over here we can see it in action. So here is the uh, blurred out version. Red channel, green channel into the A ta arc tangent uh, with two inputs. And then we have masking off the, uh, the red channel, doing our two times pi, add, divide, divide, and then using our if statement. Here's our full range height map being used as the V, so the U and V direction. Here I have a multiply to uh, take my texture and tile it multiple times. Then I have my panner and my um, grid texture. And then I have my flow map with a power and multiply in order to isolate the grooves that I want multiplied against the texture so that it just goes in and that would have gone into something like emissive if it was like lava um, or however you want to use this. So what you're seeing right here is a low resolution uh, end result and that's because of the texture itself. I've only used 1k here so I haven't used a ton of detail but what you should see is the fact that it is following these channels. This one's coming in and merging with that one. So you can see that, um, in essence, uh, it is completely correct. And this is following the contour. It's moving around and then back in and then going through that channel. Let's reduce this down. This is another reason why I said we get the full range in there because then we can see more if we want to. So we can see how this looks uh, as sort of a texture underlying the surface here. Uh, I'm just blocking out certain regions, but you can see the channels moving around. 
again, this, these, these artifacts are due to the fact that it is low res, it's only 1K and we're zoomed in, and we're seeing actual pixels flowing across the surface here. Um, so really, that's it. Uh, we've got ourselves the flow texture. Now, the key things that you wanted to remember were, of course, for the part that wraps around, you want to apply a little bit of blur. You don't have to, and you can control how much blur you want, but that will cause it to um, maneuver a lot more. Uh, so in, say, perhaps uh, high resolution situations, um, you, you may want to do that, but for this purpose, um, the blur was ideal. Eliminate some of the, uh, the kind of crinkled effect that you'll see. Height map is normal. It is as is. It gives you the best possible result for uh, controlling the flow direction. Um, flow map is basically just a mask, nothing more. And um, this is useful as a method, not for up close channels of lava or what have you unless you're using sort of a smaller sample size, so like a cliff face, for example, might be an okay situation for this. But for an entire mountain, definitely not ideal. A um, couple reasons for this. Number one, we're dealing with 8-bit uh, uh, data. We could go up to 16-bit, uh, and with something like a 4K or an 8K uh, texture, there, there might be possibilities there. Um, but getting up close, uh, to these individual channels, even at those sizes, uh, it's, it's not going to be super detailed. So um, it may not be the most useful method for, for getting really up close. What you could do is you can use this for uh, mid to far ground for mountains, use it for close up for like close up situations. And uh, when you want close up on a mountain where you're coming from far away and then moving into close to one of these channels, like say with a helicopter or something like that, uh, you could switch to something that was an actual modeled uh, channel based on your, uh, your mask here. That would sit into the actual ground and you could place all your stuff there and you would have like an actual river that you modeled into that space. Um, and there's a number of ways of, of doing that. You can use uh, curves. <coughs> in Unreal and stuff like that, so there's there's lots of possibilities there. But ultimately, um, there's some tips, and there you can see it in an actual example, which uh, some people requested. So hopefully you got something out of that, and I will see you in the next video.